Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It's February somewhere, I don't know, February 22nd or 3rd or 4th. And it looks just like Siberia in northeastern Minnesota. I'm out on Jasper Lake trying to get the fish house out, which I've done. But uh, we got so much snow just a few days ago that uh, we got slush everywhere. In fact, this is what slush looks like. For those of you who don't know, it's a wet slop that's real, quite deep. All it is is uh, water and snow mixed. When you get a lot of snow on the ice, it pushes the ice down into the lake and cracks it. The water comes up to where the water wants to be and it mixes with the snow. And it stays underneath the, the fresh white snow and it doesn't freeze. As a result, you get slush, so what you gotta do is disturb it so that it'll freeze. Once you've packed the snow down, you're good. But interestingly enough, got the fish house undone with this Nils Master Chisel. See this thing? This thing's a cool chisel, boy. These are, that's Nils USA. I don't know if you can see that or not here. Hopefully you can. But this is a real thin chisel. And if you got to get something fast, it does a good job. It's made really heavy. It's built by in, in Finland by the Finnish, as opposed to uh, your average run-of-the-mill Chinese chisel that everybody and his brother's selling. These cost more because they're from Finland, but it's got a nice wooden handle. I tied this high-quality whatever piece of rope I could find on there so I didn't throw it away. And uh, right here at this little spot that you see here, it's real slippery. There's solid ice. Oh, there we go. I knew it. That hole right there, that's where we were fishing the other day. It's open water right now because the water that's on the ice is trying to drain down there. It's going to make this place really unsafe in a, in a short amount of time if I just leave it like this. But what I'm going to do is take a shovel, flatten it all out so that it freezes solid because that's one of the holes I was fishing in. I stepped in that before and I said, boy, that feels awfully, sli awfully sli slippery and uh, not too uh, not too nice to uh, to go through and that Christmas tree that you see right there that's where I went in uh, a couple weeks ago it was the same situation walking along doo -doo 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 -doo, boosh, and I went through I hit the second layer of ice this air hole which is a man-made air hole doesn't have any uh, uh, bottom to it so when that gets bigger and you go through it it's gonna really suck so I wouldn't recommend that there are two more of them underneath the snow right here so anyway, that's what I'm doing for today, trying to move the fish house because right here in this slush are bluegills up the wazoo and I'm going to get them. I can't wait to get them. In fact, that's what I'd much rather be doing right now is chasing those bluegills. They're right there. That's where that fish house has got to go, but first I got to deal with that air hole and I got to get the fish house dragged over here and blah, blah, blah. All, it's all those ancillary things I have to do before I can chase those bluegills that are right there. So anyway, I'm signing out for now. I'm going to go back to playing, moving all this crap, and making the slush go away. Good talking with you.